in villages in central Vietnam where many of the victims are believed to be from. Hope and desperation is gripping local communities. In this area in Vietnam's central Nghệ An province, human trafficking rings known locally as Đường Dê have been thriving for decades. Dreams of better economic life in this once impoverished region of Vietnam drive thousands of villagers to get into the UK illegally via trafficking rings to work at nail shop restaurants and cannabis farms. But the case of 39 deaths in the UK sent shockwaves across Vietnam and fully exposed the extreme dangers facing illegal migrants. Hoàng Văn Tiếp was only 16 when he dropped out of school. His family took loans and paid thousands of dollars for him to be trafficked from Vietnam to France via Russia. He wanted to send back money to support his parents who work on the farm and on the sea as fishermen. He worked at different restaurants in France, but the money he sent back is not enough to pay the debt back home. In the efforts to solve the financial challenge, he embarked on a journey organized by human trafficking networks to get to the UK, where he thought he could get better income. His family feared Tiếp is among the victims in the lorry death in the UK. Nó nói là nhận tiền về cho bà ấy là nó nhận tiền về là mẹ ơi con trên đường trắng anh á là lần cuối đó là đêm mai mi hai rằng em ba đó cháu bảo là mất tiền luôn. Lâm gọi tiền như hết. Local authorities have taken DNA samples from the family for the identification process. The family is still in holding hopes that their son was not in the container. But some other families said they have enough evidence that their loved ones are among the victims as they pieced together information from human trafficking rings and from other villagers who was trying to get into the UK on the same lorry. Many families are prepared for the worst. A member of the local human trafficking ring told me most of the victims are Vietnamese. Vietnamese authorities today speed up their efforts toward the identification of the victims. Vietnam Prime Minister has ordered investigations into human trafficking rings that might be involved in this case. Tung Ngo, CNA, Nghệ An.